This is Outsourced, America's manufacturing crisis, built by Grip6. I love quotes. We're going to talk about America, manufacturing, how do we get it back here tonight. But I want to talk about a quote I love first. And oddly, we're going to go overseas for this quote. Isn't that weird for an America First special? Yamamoto, you've heard of him. Yamamoto, the Japanese admiral who was the author of the Pearl Harbor invention. Well, the Pearl Harbor invasion invention. The Pearl Harbor invasion. He's the one who came up with this quote. And I think about this quote a lot as I look at America now. You see, when we think back on things like Pearl Harbor and World War II, we're proud, aren't we? We're very proud of what our country was able to do, what our boys in uniform were able to do. But do you want to know why we won World War II? On top of all that bravery, do you want to know why we won World War II? Well, don't take it from me. Take it from Yamamoto. Quote, anyone who has seen the auto factories in Detroit and the oil fields in Texas knows that Japan lacks the national power for a naval race with America. The truth is this. Oh, all that, all that blood and guts out there and the troops, yeah, no question about it. They were the tip of the spear. But when we look back on things like that, we won World War II in the manufacturing plants, churning out tank after tank after tank, bomb after bomb, bullet after bullet, rifle after rifle, over and over and over again, while other modern nations simply had their equipment shatter, their food run out. America's manufacturing giant arm awoken and simply turned on the juice. And we overpowered everybody on the manufacturing line. Fast forward to where we are now. When's the last time you took a drive, or maybe you actually live in it, through the Rust Belt? See, I was born there. And there are so many towns across the United States of America that used to be bustling Rust Belt towns, manufacturing towns. One of those towns where everybody is tied in some way to the local steel mill. The kids get new shoes on their feet every single school year because of the steel mill. The wife gets pretty diamond earrings at Christmas time because of the steel mill. And those things are gone. They're gone, and instead we have a drugged out, listless Rust Belt now because the elites in this country sent all of our jobs over to China. And I hate it. I want them back. How do we get them back? We've given China all this power over us. God forbid we have another world war. All those tanks and planes won't be coming out of our factories because the factories are gone. But that aside, how do we get back to having American jobs in this country? Can we? Is it even possible? Well, I promise you we're going to dig into that tonight. It's going to be fun, all right? Now, I do want to make sure that I do this over and over and over and over again. We talk on the show about putting our money where our morals are. I will tell you for the longest time, I did not do this. I didn't care about Made in America. I don't care. Just give me whatever's cheapest. It's, you've probably done that too. Don't feel bad about it, but I want to change that. When I talk to you about Grip6, it's more than the quality. I know you already know about the wallets. Everyone knows about the wallets. By the way, this is RFID blocking, meaning those thieves can't do that little scanner thing where they get your credit card just walking up to you. They can do that to you, not to me. My card's locked in. You know know about the wallets. You know about the belts. No more little notches in the belt. Fully adjustable. Whatever's perfect for your waist, Best belts ever. You know about the socks. Wool socks that don't itch. They're good in the summer. I live in Houston and I wear wool socks in the summer. That's how good Grip6 socks are. But you know what? Forget about that. Forget about that. Made in America. Grip6 makes it a priority. Made in America. A lot of their stuff is not just made in America. It's made in-house by Americans. That's why I love Grip6. Go support an American company and get the coolest wallet ever. Most comfortable socks ever. Best belt. Grip6.com slash Jesse. All right? Grip6.com slash Jesse. We'll be back. You're watching Outsourced, America's manufacturing crisis. Built by Grip6.